Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be talking about some of the new features in Causeplay that we haven't really talked about before. And specifically I'm talking about the Bypass Island function, the uh, Headland Turn function and the Combine Convoy function, which is new in Causeplay. Now, to do this video, I have had to change a couple of things on the map that I'm currently working on. And now we are once again stood on field number 29, and the barley is ready for harvest. But only this time, I have actually gone ahead and changed field number 29 so that this island that we stood upon right now with the massive pylon is no longer recognized as part of the field. It is now an island on its own. I can illustrate that if I walk into uh, the barley, you can see down in the lower right hand corner that the growth statues of barley has come up and if I go onto the island again, that disappears. So, Cosplay will now recognize this part right here as an island and because of that, we can set up the bypass island function. Um, now to do that, we're gonna have to set up a course for Cosplay to harvest this field. So, let's jump into one of the combines that we have stood. Uh, like that Here we go, so I'm gonna go into combine number one which is stood on the other side of the road But I have two identical combines stood over here uh, ready to help it out We also have um, a tractor an overloader Tractor and a tractor for carting the grain back to the farm All right, so far so good Let's jump into this combine here now. Um, I'm gonna say straight away, if you use this mod and you use cosplay with it, uh, these combines here, I did some testing prior to recording this video and you can see that the pipe is very long. This is the pipe version XXL. Um, I had to do that even with the smallest of the headers, uh, the V750. I had to have the XXL pipe um, for cosplay to actually be able to to do this. The overloader got stuck in traffic if the pipe was smaller. Anyway, let's jump into the combine and set up a course for this one. So we're gonna open the cosplay hut and we're gonna go into the field work mode and going into the course generation button. We're gonna choose field number 29 as the field edge path and let's just verify that everything is in order. You can see the blue line all around the field. That shows that this is the field that we're gonna be working on, all right? Let's click that away again. The working width of this machinery is 7.5 meters and that's all in order. The starting location is going to be where we stood. Like that. I could set it up to one of the world corners but I, I'm too lazy, honestly. This is a lot easier, definitely. Now it does mean that the starting direction is going to be set automatically. I can't change this in any way. It doesn't matter if I scroll or click or whatever I do, I can't change that. Alright, return to the, to the first point. We don't really care about that in this particular scenario. Headlands we do care about. Now we're going to be using three combines here and normally I say that whenever I do some field work I want three headlands before I start doing the actual field work. Um, however, I did some testing as I just said and um, if I go ahead and click one headlands now that would effectively be the same as one combine running three times around doing headlands seeing as we have three combines here. But it turned out that the third combine got stuck in the trees on the outside of the field when I only had just one headland here. So we're gonna try with two headlands and see how that goes. All right, so far so good. Uh, the headland turn is something that I'm gonna be talking a little bit about. Normally I set it to smooth uh, which means that when the combines come up to the corner that you see up here, now I can probably show that here. Uh, the northern corner here of field number 29 is a 90 degree corner. Now, with a smooth headland, um, the combine will come up to the corner and it will just turn around and go down the other side. Uh, with headland turn instead, it will go up to the end of the field and it will raise the header, reverse back and go down the other side. So it will make a 90 degree turn instead of the smooth turn. And um, let's try and do that. As a matter of fact, the testing that I've done, it turns out that the turning, the headland turn, the 90 degree turn, makes a lot better looking headland 
than if you take the smooth turn, at, at least if you have a 90 degree corner. All right, the bypass island function. Uh, we haven't used that before, so this is the first for us. Um, it's currently set to deactivated. You can set it to simple, and you can set it to circle and deactivate it again. Set in the symbol mode. Uh, let's see if I can illustrate this in any way. I'm going to use the tree over here as, as an example. Now imagine that this tree is the island that we have to go around and the combine will come up to the island from down here. And it set in symbol mode, it will go around the island and continue its course on the other side. And once it's returning, it's going to go up to the island, go around the island and continue on this side here. Now that will leave a triangle in the middle of the island on both sides. Uh, that wouldn't, in this case, get harvested. Um, so, if we set it to... S oh, that was, that was the headlands, like that. Alright, if we set it to circle, what's going to happen is the combine is going to come up to the island. It's going to make a full circle around the island and go down where it needs to go. Um, I like that scenario a lot more because you will have all of the grain harvested. And... Um, it might just be me, but I'm actually struggling to see a scenario where the simple version would be the one that you choose. It could be, um, it could be with a an island that wasn't perfectly round. I don't know. It's I'm struggling to see the scenario. It might be you might know a scenario where the simple version would be better. Multiple tool. We're gonna have three of them. Okay, so we're actually ready to generate the course. So let's click the generate field course button. And the course is set up nice so we're gonna go into the driving settings and the lane offset of this one is gonna be right and we're gonna activate symmetric lane change you could choose to go without symmetric lane change um, I uh, both of them work by the way both of these scenarios work but I do get some weird results if I don't use symmetric lane change um, every now and again it's not it's not all the time it's just periodically I get very weird results if I don't have symmetric lane change uh, but setting symmetric lane change you want to make sure that the combine you send away or you send out the course as the first one is going to be the one closest to the center of the field so if I do like this and send this combine off as the first one this is not going to work it's going to get stuck in traffic so Let's set this one to the right and symmetric lane change activated and everything is very good. Okay, now another function that we're going to be talking about in here uh, in the speed setting or the speed limits uh, settings. You have the drive control settings down here. Now if you use the drive control mod, I've installed it for this video here. So if you use it, you have uh, an option here to set it automatic. You can also choose to always use four wheel drive. You can set it to use four-wheel drive at all times and the front differential lock when it's doing field work or the rear differential lock when it's doing field work plus the four-wheel drive all the time or you can have four-wheel drive and both differential locks when it's doing field work. So now you have the option to actually choose how course play should um, behave with the drive control mod. I've set it to automatic. Uh, in this particular scenario, I'm not really too worried about uh, differential log and front wheel drive and so on. Okay, I just wanted to show that that function was there. Right, so we're actually ready to set this one off. So if we're going to set this one to start from the first waypoint, we have one more setting that we're going to be talking about. The combined convoy is currently set to deactivate it. I'm going to activate this one and yeah. You can see that we have a temporary course down here and we have some settings over here. It doesn't say anything, there's, I don't know, zero out of zero, it doesn't do anything. And it doesn't matter, I, I can't do anything. If I click it or scroll the mouse wheel, nothing happens. All right, anyway, we're gonna get back to that. Uh, let's start up the engine and unfold the combine and have this one set up so it's ready to go. So we're just going to drive it over here where we can turn around and this is now ready to go. Alright, let's set up combine number two.
Okay, so in combine number two, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing really, except we're gonna go into field work and we're not gonna be bothering with the cores generation because we can copy the cores from the combine that we just set up. So we're gonna go into drive settings and we're gonna copy cores from the lection 700 small, which is 63 meters away. So we click this icon to copy the cores and now everything in here is set uh, by what we set on that combine over there. So we don't really need to worry about it. We do need to worry about the lane offset. This combine is going to be the one running in the center, so we don't really uh, need to do anything here. We just need to verify that everything is in order. Uh, and since as this is running in the center at all time, we don't need to worry about the um, symmetric lane change as well. Okay, so this is ready to go. So we're going to go into the cosplay control button, set the start course at first waypoint, and we're going to activate combine convoy. Again, nothing is happening. We got a temporary course and zero out of zero. Hmm. Let's get back to that. Let's start up the engine and unfold the combine and set this one up so it's ready to go. Okay, let's see if we can do this in any way without completely destroying the combine. Yeah, that's just about good enough. All right, let's set the com the first combine off. Uh, so drive course, start at first waypoint, go for it. Oh, I should say that this down here is now changes to one out of one. Still a temporary course. Okay, that's off. Let's set off the other combine. So we'll be driving, starting this course from the first waypoint, so let's drive course. Now, notice what happens here. The temporary course down here, the combine convoy, the temporary course is now counting upwards 75 meters, 80 meters, and it's two out of two, so it's counting the distance up to that combine, and once it reaches 100 meter, this is gonna set off. There we go. It's a very, very, very nice feature that they've implemented in Coursplay. So it basically means that the Combine will never get into a closer distance that, well, 95 meters it is then. But within 95 meters, they will stop and wait for free passage. That's really cool. I like that feature. All right, let's set this one up. We're going to go into the driving settings and copy the course from one of the two other lections. Like that. And this one is going to go on to the left. We're going to activate symmetric lane change start from the first waypoint and activate the combine convoy start up the engine and unfold the combine and we're ready to go all right let's set this puppy off Okay, so the combines are now off. What we're going to do now is we're going to jump to this combine here because this combine is the one that's going to come up to the corner um, as the first combine. Just going to go in cab view. Uh, it's a little bit quieter. You can see down here, by the way, you can see down here that the four wheel drive is activated. Uh, so Cosplay has, I don't know, it has, it has figured out that it needed to have four-wheel drive activated for this field, apparently. You can see now that this combine is number one out of three uh, in the combine convoy. convoy. All right, let's jump out of the cat view again. And this combine is now gonna come up to the corner up here, which is a 90 degree corner. We got the other combine following along. Uh, at a distance at at least 95 meters so this one is going to calculate now what to do when it reaches the corner here so now it's detecting that there is an edge over here it's calculating what to do so it's going to pull forward a little bit like that and then it's going to make a 90 degree turn that's really really cool Here we go. All 
And notice how that combine down there was stopping and waiting because that was within 95 meters of this one. So if we go down to this combine here now, uh, you can see down here that it's number two out of three combines. That one, combine number three, is um, catching up with this one. So you just saw it breaking and waiting until it had free passage. So this one is going to come up to the corner as well. I'm going to do the exact same thing as the first combine. And we're going to watch what happens with the third combine down here. So now it's going to detect the corner stopping. And notice how that combine stops straight away. This is really, 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 really cool. Alright, so these three combines are off now. They're gonna do their thing. Um, this combine is gonna do the exact same thing up here. We're just gonna follow it along so you can see how it handles this corner up here. Because this one is gonna go all the way to the edge of the field and make a turn right there. So it's calculating the corner. And there we go, that went all the way up to the edge of the field before it started to turn. So that's the function of the um, of the corner turning or the smooth or uh, the turn headland. So it was this one here. Uh, maybe we have to go into the first combine to see it. So because we set the headland to turn, we got that 90 degree turn over there. Alright, it's very very nice. We got a nice looking corner up here and we've got the most out of it. Pretty much all of the grain has been harvested, that's really cool. Alright, so the next thing we want to do is we want to set up a course for the carving grain. So let's jump into the mass Ferguson, not that one. We're going to jump into another Massa Ferguson. This one. Right. Let's start up the engine and let's uh, record a course back to the uh, farm with this one. Uh, let's just have a look if we can avoid as much of the grain as possible. I'm thinking we're going to set up a course from um, from the corner up here. So we're going to turn around here and we're going to set up a course from around here somewhere. Uh, this seems like a good spot. So we're going to be in the grain transport mode, which is the one over here. And let's record a course. So we want to have three waypoints in a relatively straight line before we start turning. There we go. So we can start the turn now. We're going to go on to a public uh, road here, road with AI traffic. And then we're going to head back to the farm from here. Let's go into cab view. It's a little bit quieter. And let's make a turn around here where we're going to go back to the silos. And in here, we're just gonna go across the tip point. We don't need to set a waypoint or anything like that. Cosplay will figure out that it needs to 
stop here and tip the load when there is a load. So we're just going to go across it like that and let's head back to the field so we are ready to do the overload of course as the next one. So I chose to take the grain transport route or course um, before I started the overload of course. I did that because I wanted to record this course with an empty trailer. That's a lot easier than recording it with a full trailer. So we're going to turn into the field around here. And let's get out of cab view again. And let's stop the recording around here. This seems like a good spot. All right. So this one is ready. It's going to be uh, transporting barley and the number of runs to perform is unlimited. So we're going to start the course at the first waypoint and drive course. All right, that one is ready. So the next thing that we're going to set up is the uh, overloader. So if we jump into here and find the Jandir, there we go. And this one is set up to have the overloader course. Um, right, let's start up the engine and get onto the field. We can see that the first combine is parked and it's ready to unload, so it's about time that we set up this course here. We're going to pipe out so we know where to go um, once we need to. Uh, let's go in cab view. So much quieter in here, so that's actually nice. Now, all of the equipment that you see in this video here is modded equipment. I'm just doing this to show that it actually can be done with modded equipment. Alright, so we're going to record a course for this one. The overloader course is pretty easy to record, so we're going to go on the outside cab view again. Like that. And let's set up a course for this one. So we want to be in the overloader mode, which is this button over here. And uh, let's start the course recording. Again, we want three waypoints in a relatively straight line. So that's one, two, three. And let's see if we can get down to where we want to unload. So we are going to try to set it so we're not going to get stuck in traffic. This should be doable. Uh, let's just have a look. There we go. That should be fine. So we're going to set a waypoint here. And now we're going to get away from the tractor again and we're going to go over here where we set the stop point there we go and let's pipe in again like that all right so now we just want to make sure that the managed combine is set to find combine automatic okay so drive course no combine in reach and it's going to detect them now so while it's going over to the combines, let's head on over to them and let's see what they're doing. And you notice how this is now using the pathfinding, so it's going to go all the way around the field to get to the combines. All right, let's head into a combine here. You can see this one is waiting. Um, it's waiting because it is now on 95 meters up to that combine up there which is uh, waiting for that combine up there this one has 96 percent full grain tank and if we run up to the next one it will have about 75 percent or something like that but it's not moving one meter until the first combine is actually allowing it to 83 percent uh, full grain tank all right, I'm going to go up to the first combine up here and let's wait for the uh, overloader to come up here. And here we have the overloader 
trying to navigate up to the first combine here. And here we go. So one thing I didn't do here is I didn't change the speed of this combine. I could set the fuel speed to going a lot faster. And I think I'm actually going to do that. I think I'm going to set it to 35 kilometers an hour. There we go. So now we will reach the speed of 35 kilometers an hour once it's driving on the field. Uh, be careful with this setting because if you set it too fast, it will not have time to stop underneath the pipe. So it's just an FYI. And now the combine convoy is uh, rolling again. I like that word, combine convoy. That's a good word for it, actually. Okay, so we've seen this a tons of times. So I'm going to skip ahead until the uh, combines are are ready to go for the uh, bypass island function up there. So I will see you very shortly. It's going to come up to the bypass island function here and notice how this is going to be turned or this is going to be handled. I was trying its best to make a full circle around here. It will skip a little bit of grain but it really isn't a lot. Everything considered. And because of the uh, combined convoy function we are not going to get into trouble with um, the other combines. We might get into trouble with the overloader there. <laughs> it's chasing us down. That's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> See if you can catch me. <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, well, everything seems to be working out fine. That's nice. <laughs> So it made a full circle and then it's going to continue the course on the other side. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Let's go back to the other combine and see how that goes. Oh, is there an issue here? No, it shouldn't be. Right, okay, let's follow this combine and see how that goes. So this should do the exact same thing. Now you could argue that you wouldn't need to have all of the combines doing this but I don't know uh, uh, it would be a fair point to make but um, I don't know it, with the combine convoy function it doesn't really matter um, that all three of the combines are doing this I mean it looks good it definitely looks good. I, li I like this a lot. I do. It's such a cool thing that I've done here. It's, um, it's a very good idea. So, all kudos to to the developers of course because this is a really good idea and, and thank you guys so much for this amazing work that you're doing if you're watching this video you really have my uttermost respect for for the work that you're doing All right, let's uh, follow the last combine on the course here and let's see how that goes. 
we could get into a little bit of an issue with the first combine here but we'll just watch how this is uh, playing out Uh, the overloader, by the way, is waiting for the uh, carding tractor to come back. It's stood over there just waiting to unload. And it looks like we're lucky. This has been timed really well. <laughs> wow. I'm surprised. Yeah, there we go. That was very well made. So the amount of grain that you're actually missing is minimal, which is um, a lot better than, than you could have imagined. All of this is done by cosplay. I haven't really done anything. Uh, I haven't done anything at all. I just set up the courses and cosplay has handled the rest of it. So I'm really surprised with how well made this program is. All right, guys, uh, that was some of the features, uh, the new features in Cosplay that I wanted to talk with you guys about. I wanted to show you guys, and um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. I hope you, um, I hope this isn't too intimidating, setting up Cosplay like this, because with a setup like this, you get so much more out of the mud. This, I, in my mind, this is how the mud is supposed to be played. Um, you're supposed to use all of these features otherwise why put them in the mud so if you have any questions feel free to ask them down below head on over to the cosplay github and get the latest version of, of cosplay where all of these functions are implemented and you will have such a great experience using cosplay I guarantee it and if you have any questions if you're doubting how to do stuff Post a question down below, uh, have a look on, on some of my other videos, uh, chances are that I've covered it uh, already, otherwise feel free to ask me to make a video about it and I'll have a look at it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching uh, and I will see you in the next one, bye for now.